Good day, guys, and welcome to another NRL 2020 season review. Today, we're going to be speaking about sixth place, the South Sydney Rabbitoh. There is so much hype. It is crazy about this team in 2021. I've seen so many people tipping them to win the premiership. I tipped it last year. I honestly thought last year was the year of the Rabbitoh. They have such a good squad. They had a really up and down season, but it was a successful one, and there's a lot to look forward to. I can't wait to get into their side. Signing. But first, as you know, I go through round by round and discuss their results. It was a rocky start to the season, but they came good. Let's get into the 2020 South Sydney Rabbitohs season review. The Rabbitohs began the 2021 NRL season with a game against the Cronulla Sharks at ANZ Stadium, and let me say, it was a dismal beginning. I I think they were very lucky to win this game. They came away winners 22 points to 18. I thought the Sharks were right in it. I thought the Rabbitohs were unimpressive, and I know it was round one, but I, I expected more from this side that I tipped to win the Premiership. Round two, their first loss of the season. Uh, Shell-shocked here. At Suncorp Stadium, I believe the Rabbitohs were favourites, but the Broncos come away winners 22 points to 18, scoring 12 points in the second half. Uh, the Rabbitohs led this one at half time. They faced their rivals, the Roosters, and a loss uh, 28 points to 12. Quite a few losses to start the Rabbitohs in the early season, which I'll speak about following week. A game that I think was really close, but even though I don't think this scoreline reflects the game, but the Storm 22, Rabbitohs 8. Rabbitohs played well here, I thought, uh, for the most part. I thought it was a very competitive game at Amy Park. It was probably the best they had played in three weeks, in my opinion. It was probably round four for me was where I saw this side being competitive and having a roster to do something in 2020. So in my opinion, against one of the heavyweight sides, the Melbourne Storm, even though it was a 14-point loss, it was a good performance by the Rabbitohs. They face the Gold Coast Titans and the New Zealand Warriors, and I really did expect this side to pile on the points if they were to win the Premiership. At this point, the Rabbitohs had a 20-point win against the Titans at Bankwest Stadium, 32 points to 12 on a Saturday night. Following week, they thrashed a Friday night game against the New Zealand Warriors, 40 points to 12 in that one. So two big score lines. They come against the Penrith Panthers, who have started the year really well. We haven't gotten a complete and utter read on the Panthers yet, but the Rabbitohs lose this one. Uh, I think I tipped them. I think the Panthers were favourites, but I did tip the Rabbitohs for an upset. But the Panthers proved to be way too good here, uh, and they won this game 20 points to 12 in a very interesting game. So we've seen them play the Storm and the Panthers now, and uh, I was really waiting for them to play one of these bigger teams, but they smashed the Bulldogs 26 points to 10 in a game where Dane Gagai, I love you, uh, won me, I believe, over 500 bucks. It was absolutely insane, this game, uh, based on that ending. After defeating the West Tigers 18 points to 10 at Bank West, they headed to Bank West against the Newcastle Knights. Another game that I think was a test for them. These teams uh, were both coming quite good at this point of the season. Uh, the Knights stringing a few wins together. The Knights coming away winners here, 20 points to 18. But I just want to mention how good both Mark Nichols was huge for the side on this night. Uh, but Damian Cook was on another level. Now, Damian Cook almost led this side to a victory from 14 nil down. It was a two-point loss, but it, it was a respectable game uh, between two great clubs who were travelling well. And the Rabbitohs, to me, they looked as dangerous as ever here, and I thought they had the ability to win this. They then had a massive game against Canberra in Canberra. Unfortunately, going down 18 points to 12, it's always a close game between the Raiders and the Rabbitohs. They then played the Dragons and won that one 32-24. After a nice win against the Brisbane Broncos, I, I love this game. I could watch this game on repeat all day. A trip to Townsville against the Cowboys at their new stadium in 7,000 in attendance. The Rabbitohs down 14-12 at halftime. Definitely in the contest. A really high-scoring game 
where the Rabbitohs' classy Adam Reynolds comes away with a match-winning field goal, even though they only scored five tries to the Cowboys' six. Uh, They definitely got more conversions. Kyle Felt was terrible with the boot. Otherwise, the Cowboys would have definitely had a chance. 31 points to 30. An incredible game to watch where Tom Opacek scored in the 73rd minute and then Alex Johnston scored in the 75th minute. It was back and forth. It was amazing to watch. And honestly, it was Adam Reynolds at his pure best. And over the next two weeks, all I could say was, what the fuck? When I was watching the Rabbitohs on Saturday, the 22nd of August, how could I have tipped the Manly Seagulls to win this game? Rabbitohs, 56, Manly, 16. Alex Johnston with a double. Uh, Campbell Graham with a double. Latrell Mitchell with a double. Nine tries to three. Nine conversions from Adam Reynolds. 56 points. At half time, it was 30. Eight points to nil. This attack was red hot. I picked them to win the comp. No team who has uh, had 50 points scored against them has ever gone to win the comp. So Manly were gone by this point. But this was huge. But then they come to Bank West in Parramatta territory and beat Parramatta 38 points to nil. Nobody out for Parramatta. I was really shocked with a 22-0 result at halftime. I walked out of the stadium. I'm glad I didn't vlog this night. It was just a time where I didn't want to vlog in general. Um, I was with some friends and enjoying the game, catching up. Seven tries to nil, five from seven for Adam Reynolds. But this Rabbitohs side by round 16 was looking extremely dangerous. Uh, They were... Given a loss to the Melbourne Storm, 22 points to 16 at ANZ. Close game, but couldn't get the job done there. Now, I arguably think this game could have been uh, in favour of the West Tigers, actually, against uh, 24 points to 26. The Rabbitoh coming away winners. There was a massive, massive fight from the West Tigers to come back from 20 to 12 at half time. Uh, Asa Kapua scored in the 64th minute. Uh, They just could not get the job done in the end. And the South Sydney Rabbitohs, with their class, proved a little bit too good in round 18. After basically handing the Brisbane Broncos uh, the wooden spoon in agreement, I believe Wayne Bennett may have thrown this game. I, I can't be certain of it, though. Canterbury Bulldogs defeating the Rabbitohs in a massive upset for the season. 26 points to 16. Let's fucking get to this, though. Round 20 to end the season. One of the craziest things I have ever witnessed in my life. The South Sydney Rabbitohs defeat the back-to-back reigning premiers, the Sydney Roosters, 10 tries to 2. Five tries to Alex Johnston. We saw four tries from Charlie Stain. Uh, We saw four tries from... uh, There was a Sydney Roosters player throughout the year. We saw these players score multiple tries, but five tries to Alex Johnston. 7,000 in attendance, including myself. Adam Reynolds having a night of 8 of 10 from the boot. 26 points to 4 in favour of the Rabbitohs at halftime. I could not believe this. I, I said, this is the team that is going to win the Premiership. But unfortunately, I was wrong. Massive uh, momentum killer for the Sydney Roosters. I'll talk about that in my season review. A huge win for the Rabbitohs at ANZ. During the finals period, the Rabbitohs, they just proved that their attack was some of the best in the competition. Week one, they knocked off Newcastle straight out of finals, 46 points to 20. Uh, some really classy big runs towards the end, just back to back to back try and big performance. They came into week two against the Parramatta Eel. Uh, coming away 34-28 winners, even after the Parramatta Eels led 18 points to eight at half time. I'll speak about in the season review. What would have happened in this game if Mitchell Moses did not hit the fucking post? It was a momentum killer, but the Rabbitohs making it through to a prelim against the Penrith Panthers who have had a massive season. You could argue that the Rabbitohs have had a massive season. And who comes away with it? The Penrith Panthers, too good. 20 points to 16. Heartbreak for Rabbitohs fans as Adam Reynolds almost kicks a 40-20 
to potentially win the game, a very close game, 14-6 to at halftime. But Penrith set up a grand final appearance against Melbourne, and that brings an end to South Sydney's 2020 season. So that brings an end to the 2020 season, but let's talk about 2021. I mentioned the hype around these guys. It is huge. It is so big. Now, let's talk about their gains. Now, Jai Arrow from the Gold Coast Titans has signed till 2024. Jacob Host from the Dragons till 2023. A really nice signing here of Josh Mansour. Uh, His experience could bring a lot to the club from the Panthers for 2022. A one-year deal with Benji Marshall for the West Tigers. I really don't know what position he's going to play. And Totoa Moga comes back from the Newcastle Knight on a one-year deal. So that's some pretty good signings that they've got during the offseason. They lose Corey Allen to the Bulldogs, uh, Jack Johns to the Knight, James Roberts to the Tigers, and Bailey Sirenen to the Warriors. So there's a lot of depth to this squad, and I can understand why a lot of people are tipping them to win the Premiership. But I haven't seen this much hype around a team to win a premiership in a long time. I definitely think they've got the squad to do it. But in my personal opinion, I just don't know. I don't know if this team can deliver that result, give Wayne Bennett that fairy tale ending, as I feel like he could be on his way out. Let's talk about how they're going to do it, though. So we've spoken about their squad throughout the 2021 season. But can they do this based on their draw? Well, they got the Broncos twice, the Bulldogs twice, and the Dragons twice. So that is good there. Now, they beat Parramatta 38-0, but Parramatta are a solid team, so it'll be a contest. They've got the Panthers twice, the Roosters, and the Storm all twice, as well as the Titans, who a lot of people, as I mentioned, expected to make the eight. So that is a pretty tough draw. The Roosters, the Storm, Eels, and Panthers twice. They play the Cowboys, the Knights, Raiders, Manly, Sharks, and Warriors once. I think it's going to be a tough year. I think they've got a really solid draw, um, a a tough draw, sorry. And if they are going to win the Premiership, they're going to have to prove it in some big ways. So I'm not sold on it, but this draw is a, a test. So that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more NRL content. I can't wait to pump my ladder prediction out. That'll be out shortly. Make sure on Monday at 6 p.m., uh, check out Let's Talk Footy. It's been fantastic with Den and Kemp and Hayes Dunster. We have the king of ankle taps, Josh Papali, coming on for this week's segment. It's going to be an absolutely fantastic chat, as well as another two future episodes planned. And I'm still working out a complete schedule for you guys involving that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you let me know what you think of the Rabbitohs in 2021. Do you think that they can go all the way or are you skeptical like me? Thanks, guys.